The issue of politics has always been very technical in every country of the world. Elections are being held to choose a leader for the country and Gabon is no exception. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the latest news that is shaking Africa. Support us by turning on your notification bell and subscribing to our channel. Find out what is stirring Africa up this week. Military officers in Gabon say they have taken power and have put the president, Ali Bongo under house arrest, naming a new leader after the Central African state's election body announced Bongo had won a third term. The country has become the latest in Africa to suffer an attempted coup d'etat. These military officers appeared and publicly announced on national television Gabon 24 on Wednesday 30th of August 2023 declaring that they were seizing power. This declaration has been resonating across the country and Gabon. The declaration prompted celebrations and reports of gunfire on the street. This was declared just minutes after President Ali Bongo Ondimba was deemed the winner of the elections which were earlier held along with 18 other challengers, six of whom had backed Ando Asa, a formal minister to make the race narrow. The identities of the military officers who announced the overthrow of the 56-year-old Ali Bongo family dynasty are not yet known to the public. They only introduced themselves as members of the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions. One of the officers made a statement that caused a big stir in the country. He said, in the name of the Gabonese people, we have decided to defend the peace by putting an end to the current regime. When he made this statement, a dozen or so other soldiers stood behind him dressed in military attires with military fatigues and berets. In their speech, they declared that they were annulling and cancelling the results of the elections that took place on Saturday, August 26, 2023, in which President Ali Bongo was the victor with 64.27% of the votes, with his main opponent falling behind with 30.77% of the votes. The military claimed that the procedure lacked credibility and transparency and therefore must be annulled. If this coup is successful, it will be the eighth coup in West and Central Africa since 2020, the most recent being in Niger. Military officers have also seized power in Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea, and Chad, thus raising fear among foreign powers that have strategic interests in the region. President Ali Bongo from his detention made a video urging the people to make noise to support him and go against the military. However, the people went out to celebrate the coup by singing the national anthem as they claimed that the coup was a good thing, accusing the dynasty of getting rich on the country's resources while the people of the country struggled to survive. The president was last seen in public on Saturday 26 August casting his vote. He looked healthier than in his frilier television appearances after his 2018 stroke. The military officers said they were the representatives of the Gabonese security and defense forces and closed all borders into and out of the country until further notice. They also declared that state institutions were dissolved from then. Today, the country is undergoing a severe institutional, political, economic, and social crisis, stated one of the military in a statement. They also said they had arrested the president's son Nureddin Bongo Valentin and others for corruption and treason. Gabon's government gave no immediate reaction to this. Within hours, the generals met to discuss who would lead the transition and agreed to unanimously vote to appoint General Bryce Oliguin Gama, the formal head of the Presidential Guard, according to another televised address. President Ali Bongo from his detention made a video appealing to the people to make noise to support him and go against the military, and foreign allies imploring them to speak out on his and his family's behalf. He said he did not know what was going on. However, the people went out to celebrate the coup by singing the national anthem as they claimed that the coup was a good thing, accusing the dynasty of getting rich on the country's resources while the people of the country struggled to survive. The people supported the military's intervention in the streets of the Gabonese capital Libreville. I am marching today because I am joyful, after almost 60 years, the Bangus are out of power, said a jobless youth who joined the crowd in celebrating on the streets of Libreville. On the other hand, the United States, African Union, and France, Gabon's former colonial ruler which has troops stationed in the country, condemned the coup and are against it. Gabon, being a member state of the OPEC oil cartel, with a production of about 181,000 to 200, 000 barrels of crude a day is known as the eighth largest producer of oil in Dun-Saharan Africa. Unlike Niger and other Sahel countries, Gabon which is further south on the Atlantic coast had been seen as a relatively stable country as she had not been afflicted by jihadist violence. 
The president of Nigeria Bola Tinubu was said by his spokesperson to be watching developments in Gabon very closely with deep concern for the county's socio-political stability and seeming autocratic contagion spreading across different regions of the African continent. He said he has been working closely with the other African leaders on how to respond to Gabon. The UN Secretary, General Antonio Guterres together with the African Union condemned the coup and called on the military to ensure the safety of Ali Bongo and his family. The United States sees the situation to be very concerning while China and Russia said they hoped for a swift return to stability for Gabon. The political circle is indeed a very complex aspect in all countries. You can share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.